when I left from Burma, we have to we have to hide in, in the jungle on the way because we afraid that the military will uh, knowing that we will be on the way and come to the border and so many people just hiding and coming slowly to the border. So it takes seven days because there is no vehicle or transport system. Just uh, night time we travel and daytime uh, we hiding. But we realized that the situation in the ethnic area is worse than inside Burma because there is no healthcare services. So when they learn about I'm a doctor, so they come and approach our team. So whatever we have, we start treating patients. And then seven days later, we arrive to the border. At that time, almost 10,000 people from inside Burma uh, come out from Burma and then start setting up like a temporary shelter and camp along the border area. But there has been no system in place for health care and food relief and people desperately need for the relief work. We still need to do relief work. So since that time, with support from local Thai community leaders and the Korean leaders, we start setting up relief and humanitarian assistance for these people, including uh, food, food program and also like medical services. But at that time, we only have very few health workers come out from Burma, some medical doctors, medical students. So there is a lot of demand because people sick with malaria and malnutrition and people have many skin infection because of the sh poor shelter, suffering from pneumonia. So we have been quite busy with all the medical work and then we start to training for community health volunteer. So almost three months we've been busy with all the relief work and not stable. But three months later it's become a little bit stable. But at the same time, we start to realize that not only the new arrival, there are many villages around and many people who displace into Thailand, they need healthcare services. So since that time, we decide to start uh, medical services and not only the relief program to st start set up medical center or health center for this displaced population. So initially, our clients or patients are people who fled to the border during 1988 and two years later our service expand to current state and to the community around Mesha area they learn about the health service available at the clinic. So at that time we only have medical program, just basic medical services. Gradually we identify that there are many a company, women, children, who we need to provide service for maternal child health. And also Mesa Hospital and the local public health, they learn about our services. Even we are not registered, we cannot be registered or we work um, not under the public health system. They realize the benefit of the service we provide. So today our medical services provide about 100,000 cases a year. And we provide uh, antenatal care and delivery service for about 4,000 women. And we also stay treat malaria uh, every year. We have 600 to 6,000 to 8,000 malaria cases treated at the clinic. And at the same time, we train more and more health workers. Usually people living in remote village or IDB, internal displaced community. They never receive health care services or education from the government. So the international NGOs are also not allowed to assess this population. So this population also they become our partner because they also want to set up their health care service in their own village. So we start helping them to train them to be health workers and and then after training they go back and work inside Burma. So today we have more than 
80 teams and access to 150 to 180,000 population in internally displaced community. And some area there is a little bit more stable because no active fighting around that area like ceasefire zone or some community is much more uh, stable community. So in this area, we able to support the ethnic health organization to, to upgrade their existing facility like laboratory or obstetric emergency service. So through cross-border healthcare service or cross-border collaboration, we able to assess altogether about 400 to 500,000 population in Karen, Mon, Karenni, Shan, Chen ethnic groups.